Pop in a couple of stars. Guys, too close. If you had been a fly on the wall with us this Halloween, this is the day that you would have seen. It started early, as most days often do, and was filled with the everyday chores, like making breakfast and getting on with life admin. Only the boys and I were at home, so they played with tablets and computer games while I got on. Adam and Hazel were in Paris, so we spent some time online catching up with their news too. The morning and early afternoon were spent mostly prepping for a Halloween party with friends, although there were a few more chores to complete, and a bit more TV to watch. Do you like your TV programme, Drew? It's okay, this one. Robin, you said it was boring. What would you rather be doing? Um, pulling my tablet. Okay. We used my phone to look for pumpkin carving ideas before working together on our final design. Um, right. It's, it's going to have a slightly bigger eye than we thought. And this was our finished pumpkin. I used my digital camera and mobile phone to record this story so we could share it online later. Drew, what's that tree above you? And this you know was it? us getting our nature fix while we waited for the bus. We arrived at our friend's Halloween party and much fun was had decorating biscuits, chatting and catching up over cups of tea before getting ready to head outside for trick-or-treating. After a day spent mostly indoors, it felt good to get outside. When we got home, some time okay. was spent on Skype, chatting to Adam and Hazel okay. in Paris. I created this pie chart to show how our time was divided throughout the day, how much time was spent inside, outside, and just how much time was dedicated to technology. I was shocked by just how much time was spent on technology, so I created a further pie chart to show where our time was spent here. How can I do better than this?